This patient's case brings up the conundrum that we face when we have either a CR or a near CR to targeted therapy. What do you do when someone's been on treatment for literally, in this case, years, three years, and probably went into remission very early because this was a patient with a favorable outcome. They had, even though they had M1C disease, the LDH was normal, the PS was zero, and I would venture a bet if you added up the disease burden, it was pretty moderate, very, or even minimal. So what do you do at year three? And again, we don't have enough experience with compiling patients who've been on all BRFMEC randomized trials, which is thousands of patients, by the way, several thousand, and ask what happened when someone stopped either out of choice or because of toxicity? How well did they do? I would venture a guess, and we're off in a data-free zone, by the way. I would venture a guess that those patients did well. So I would tell the patient it would be safe to stop treatment at year three in complete remission. I think somebody who's a CR is probably gonna stay there for a long time. And it probably doesn't matter how they get there, whether it be chemo or targeted therapy or immunologic therapy. Again, it would be nice to mine the databases of the sponsors who've done these big randomized trials to ask what happened to those patients. But in the absence of those data, I would feel comfortable telling this patient they could stop with the thought that they could either be reinduced after some period of time, if God forbid they relapsed with BRAF MEC, or they could go on to immunotherapy. I think a patient with a uh, low disease burden, good performance status, normal LDH, is going to be one of those patients who has a good chance of going into a CR and staying there. So I think there's clearly an association between those factors as evidenced by the recent publication in the Journal of Clinical Oncology and doing well. So that's exactly the sort of patient that I would expect, that is, the patient with all the favorable characteristics who's going to go into CR and stay there for a long time and maybe be cured.